Hello and welcome back to Tammy's Dolls. Today I have two box openings. I was not I was not expecting two today. I was expecting one, but not two. I have this one here and I have this this one right here. So I have two of them. So I'm I think we'll start with the small one and we'll go to the big one. So we'll put her off to the side just for right now. I think I'd like to end with that one. I can't I don't know which one's in here. So We'll just all have to open and see, and I hope everybody's doing well. And thank you to everybody who's been giving me um, encouraging words for retiring. I appreciate that. Um, I have, when I go back to work, okay, I, I'm off today, so I got to work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. When I'm done Monday, I have Tuesday off, and when I go back, I'll have, on Wednesday, I'll have 39 days. See how I skip right by? But right now, I think I'm at 43 or something like that. So, but by next Wednesday, I'll be in the 30s, just starting the 30s. So, and that, I don't mean days, shifts. 39 shifts. Boy, this doll is packed well. Woo! Package in a package. Let's go and buy on my street here. Some big truck. Oh, street cleaner. One of those things that cleans your street. All right. Let's see who I got here. She's layered. And underneath this is newspaper. This doll was packed very, very well. And this is the way they should be packed very nicely. I've had some dolls, they come like they come surprisingly, they've made it through unscathed. But um, there are times uh, like I see them, I'm going, Oh my goodness, yikes! But no, nope, they've done well still. But um, the box has been bent, but the doll was fine. But it's still best just to wrap them up the best you can. See, now she's in newspaper. Oh my goodness, it's getting, this is getting littler. It's like layers on layers. Ooh. I don't know who's in here. Oh, there's a note. Okay, I think this is from the Goodwill. Okay, I think it is. Oh, we'll take a look at her arms. Oh, look at this. Okay, I've, I've been getting into a little bit of the Bisque dolls because it's an avenue that I've, I haven't been down. I own a few Bisque dolls, but I don't own like a great volume. I think I have three all together. And so... Uh, some of these have been coming up at a real decent price, and I thought, oh, I'll buy a few of them. You know, um, I just don't think her hand, this hand is not on properly. This is on backwards, and this hand is on backwards. They're not on the right. They have to be taken off and rehooked. They're just on hooks. So I have to unhook these and flip the hands around. So something, I think this doll's been repainted, but, and looking at it, it does look like it. But the hands are on backwards. Take a look at her, her legs here. I know who I have now. Oh, wow. It's just neat to see these ball-jointed type of, you know, like we, um, the articulation of some of the dolls from back then is what we're basing a lot of the articulations that we have now on our dolls today. So you're looking at early articulation on dolls to make them bend in ways that, um, you know, back then that they wanted them to do to sit in chairs or to whatever. Um, Marna, if you're watching this from Dolls Rescued, you always talk about articulation so that they can ride horses. And here's a doll from the turn of the century that started your dolls and many others out there who invest into those types of dolls. You know what? This doll is backwards. Her hands are on the right way. She goes, I just, all of a sudden when I went like this, I felt her bum. <laughs> so her hands are, are okay. Um... This is, I just went, I thought this was the top of her head. And I went like this and I, this is, 
this is her buttocks right here. So um, this goes like this, and her feet need to be turned around. Okay, that's why I thought her hands were on backwards. I was like, oh, wow. Um, no, they're on right. Okay, so she goes, her feet go, let's take some of these bags away so you can see this. So she goes like this. When I put my hand like this, I felt her bum. This is her bum right here. So her hands are okay. So we'll turn her around. But yeah, this is early articulation of, of these dolls. And um, there we go. Now she's proper. Yeah, there we go. Now that's her belly. All right. So anyhow, um, yeah, so this is early articulation of, of these dolls. So they could bend in ways back then and could sit in chairs and whatnot. She's a little loose str stringing here, but easy to fix, to tighten up and fix too. So, um, but let's, let's keep going here and let's undo her, her head. And so this, all this art, um, articulation is wonderful to see where it began and where we've come today. And even in the 60s, uh, the G.I. Joes that came out were articulated. Um, the the, the Dollykins I, I had when I was a little girl. This, it all stemmed from dolls like this, starting it in the right direction and pushing us towards where we are today with um, the Blythe dolls, um, how they are articulated. And, um, you know, there's many dolls that have been made like that throughout the, the years, you know, that have taken advantage of those uh, advancements. But, um, oh my goodness, she's gorgeous. Oh, she needs some, I can see some work. She's had glue on her here, but easy to clean that up. Just, just, you know, just clean that up. And, oh, she's going, I, I want you to see her. She is, and I believe she's an Armin Marzell. Is she an Armin Marzell? Yeah, she's an AM210. Yeah. Germany. Oh, my goodness, she's gorgeous. Just a little thing. I knew she, this one's a little one. Oh, she's gorgeous. Oh, Wow. I just love her. I think she's gorgeous. Look at that little dimple in her chin. But I just think the wig, I don't think this is her, her original wig uh, at all. It just seems to be overpowering her, her face. She needs something to, to pop that face out so we can see her face. Too much hair um, on her. I don't like the wig itself. So I'm going to get her another wig probably down the road. And um, we're going to work on her and um, get her tight. She needs to, you can see, she's She's loosely strung, so she needs to be a little bit tighter. She shouldn't be doing that at all. So we'll get her tightened up, but she's all bisque. This is um, going back to about, you know, 19, the early 1900s, late 1800s, 1900s. So let you see her face. There it is right there. Could you see it back there? No, you couldn't. There we go. But I just think she has too much hair for her, um, for, for her face if, with this wig. But, um, yeah, she's... she's this way can be taken off and we can do something better for her. Um, I don't think this is a um, an old wig to her. I think it's a replacement wig. I have no proof of that. I'm just, just my thinking. But um, but yeah, she's a, a nice little girl and she's going to dress up nice and just look nice on the shelf. Just some little additions to my doll collection. Like I say, I don't want many of these and believe me, I got her for under a hundred dollars. Okay, so I didn't spend a whole lot on her. She was well within my budget. So, anyways, um, there's her. So, we'll take her and put her off to the side here. And now let's get to the next big girl here. Take, get rid of some of this paper. What, what was that? Oh, that's my knife. Shoot. What do you do with it? There it is. Okay. Now let's go to this one here. Ooh, what did I get myself into here? Well, let's see. Trying to find a beginning here. Struggling. Okay. Okay, I'm getting close to it. Oh, get there. I get, I get going and then I get stuck again. Oh, 
Okay, we're getting there. Oh my goodness, I'm turning and twisting her around so much. Let me back this up for you so you, you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. Okay, I think I got the first shell off of her, close to it, oh, still a little bit more there, okay. All right, keep moving. Oh, all right, I know who this is. This is not the one I thought, okay, let, let's just get her out. I can't talk yet, everybody. I'm still trying to wheedle her out. Oh my goodness, she was wrapped. Like, I'm glad they did this again. Okay, this here is a big girl. And this here, I don't know if you can recognize by the, the Tootsies alone. Now, the, the feet really don't tell us a whole lot. But she's got some damage, of course, around her heels. So that will have to be built up. Her legs will have to be all chipped off and everything. But that's okay. Let's take a look at her arms. Arms are damaged as well. All damaged. And who do we have here? We have F and B Rosemary. Whoops, can you see that there? There we go. Rosemary. I got her off the Goodwill site. And she was there for, I think I paid 10 bucks for her. So, like I say, on that Goodwill site, you can get some real gems. But she's a big girl. Now, I have a Rosemary doll, but not this, this size. And I don't think I have her legs. I just have her, like, the torso and the arms and the head. From what I remember, it was years ago that I bought her that I want to restore as well as this one. But I think this one, she's just a beauty. Oh, my goodness, her face is gorgeous. And look at those beautiful sleep eyes. All her lashes are there. Well, close to it anyways. Maybe a few are missing, but nothing all so bad. But she's gorgeous. Um... Wow, um, nice little wig on her, and she'll dress up fine. She has on this old slip. Let's look at this. And then she has on her little teddy underneath. Um, beautiful, just gorgeous. So um, this would be nice just to add to a nice little dress that I give her. You know, um, nothing wrong with this at all. Um, sure, she needs work, but this is fun work. This is stuff I am going to do once I retire. So, looking at my two little girls here, my two new additions to my my um, collection here, I think I did pretty good. And um, you can get those deals out there still. They are out there. And um, it's just a matter of waiting for them and looking. But like I said, this this old girl here, she, um, she would, like I say, she was um, under $100. And an Armin Marzell bisque, bisque uh, little girl. So, I'm happy to have her in my collection. I mean, she's... Um, She's different from what I normally collect, but um, I like to have some of this look in my collection. And um, that's the fun part about collecting dolls, you know, the different looks you can go for. And we got Rosemary here from the Horsepin Doll Company, who also made baby dimples. So, hey everybody, um, just keep your eyes peeled. You can find sometimes these, these nice old dolls 